the sixth ranked Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Going against the fifth ranked Wolverines of Michigan. This is Fiesta Bowl 50. Today, Nebraska with a 9-2 record against Michigan with a record of 9-1-1 one one from Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona. And what a gorgeous afternoon we have for this confrontation to kick off 1986. The two head coaches on the left, that is Tom Osborne, on the right, Bo Schembecker. Ironically, two of the greatest college coaches in the country. They have never competed against each other, never coached against each other. They're both looking forward to this game. Nebraska won the toss. They deferred the choice to the second half. So that means that Michigan has the choice. They'll be receiving. Dale Klein will be kicking off for Nebraska. The two return men for the Wolverines, number 23, Jamie Morris, and number 40, John Colazar. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. This is Charlie Jones along with Sam Ritigliano. And Sam, this is the makings of a great football game. Well, no question about it. We have a great Michigan defense and the leading rushing team on offense in the nation in Nebraska. And we're underway. It'll be Jamie Morris, and he'll down at two yards deep. So Michigan will go to work at their own 20 yard line and let's look at the offensive set for the Wolverines. The quarterback is number four Jim Harbaugh the number one quarterback in passing efficiency in Division one a Gerald White Jamie Morris they're the running backs Paul Jokish John Kolazar the tight end is Eric Cattis. A lot of offensive weapons Elliot Vitale Dabachino Hussar and Miller that offensive line for Michigan. Colazar in motion. And the give us to Jamie Morris. And Morris pops it for a first down. 12 yards to the 32. Brian Siebler makes the tackle. And let's look at that Cornhusker defense with Tucker, Spockman, Noonan, Scow, and Reeves. That's the defensive line. The linebackers are Knox and Parsons. And in the secondary, you. You've got Brian Davis, Dennis Watkins, Brian Washington, and Chris Carr. And here's Morris again to the 37 yard line. Gain of five, it'll be second down and five is Kevin Parsons. The weak side linebacker brings him down. Let's take a look at Jamie Morris, 5'7", 175 pound sophomore. Watch Jamie Morris with Gerald White as the lead back. Now watch his vision now. He cuts to the right, ran a first down for 12 yards on the first play, and it looks like Michigan right now is going to run the ball to start. And of course, you know that Jamie's older brother, Joe, with the New York Giants and against the 49ers rushed for 141 yards and that is the goal of Jamie Morris today and here's the fullback Gerald White. White just a couple of yards to the 39 so it's third down and three as Greg Reeves the defensive right end for Nebraska was there to bring him down. Bo Schimbeckler third and three on the Michigan Molding the number two defensive collegiate team in the nation. And there's something to watch on defense as well as offense. Third down and three. Harbaugh to throw. Has pressure. Dives to the 44 and he'll have the first down. He got five yards. Jim Harbaugh, the senior out of Palo Alto, California. Jim Harbaugh is a very resourceful quarterback. He drops back now. He's looking to throw for a first down. Comes back to the inside. Now he's going to tuck the ball down. He's aware of where the first down marker is. Now he's just going to hook slide for a first down. And this is going to be a problem for Nebraska's defense all afternoon to keep him contained. Play action on first down. Has pressure over the middle. Incomplete. Going 
to Eric Canis. His tight end cannot pull it down at a second down and ten. Covering on a plane number 44. That's Bob Tabacino, 77 and 95. Dan Noon, he comes off one block and 74. John Vitali, Mike Huzar picks him up and he was double teamed in the middle. Dan Noonan has uh, had 11 sacks this year for Nebraska. And we'll be taking a lot of look at that offensive and defensive line play, both when Michigan has the ball and Nebraska has the ball. The draw, Jamie Morris, the Corn Huskers right there, a loss of three to the 41 so it's third down and 13 and that means that Harbaugh will be throwing Jim Scow the All-America defensive tackle for Nebraska making the making the tackle Harbaugh has had a hot hand at the end of the regular season the last three games of the season he completed 41 of 50 passes that's 82 percent 706 yards nine touchdowns and no interceptions. that's the good news the bad news is that was five and a half weeks ago so the timing is not going to be there like it was then. Let's see what he can do. You know he's going to throw third down 13. He's got pressure, throws into coverage, and is incomplete. Colazar, the intended receiver, so it is fourth down and 13, as Brian Washington was there for Nebraska. Jim Harbaugh is trying to throw for first down. He's looking to his left. There's John Colasaw running a hook pattern, but the ball's a little too high, and Dennis Watkins come in, comes in from the high behind as the right corner for Nebraska. So Monty Robbins will be kicking. He has a 40-yard average. Ryan Siebler and Rob Schnitzler are set for the return. There is no wind here in the first half. A fair catch is called for by Schnitzler. And he takes it at the 19 yard line. A 41 yard kick. And Nebraska will be going on offense for the first time when we come back. We have no score in the Fiesta Bowl. The sun is shining in Tempe, Arizona. No score in the Fiesta Bowl. Nebraska on offense for the first time. From their own 19 yard line. McCathrin Clayton is the quarterback. But you'd look for the gift to Doug DeBose. As the Cornhuskers, offensively, they will rush 79% of the time. Billy Harris, the middle guard, making the tackle. He simply don't put the ball in the air that often. And as is Clayton, the quarterback, DuBose and Rathman. Rathman, the fullback, he's a good one. Schnitzler, Lindstrom, and Frame. That line, Roth, Blankenship, Lewis, McCormick, and Welter. Second down and seven. Rathman gets the call. Andy Moeller was there for the Michigan defense. And let's take a look at that defense. Mr. Harris and Mike Hammerstein, and he's a great one, the All-American defensive tackle. Scarcelli, Moeller, Mallory, and Akers, the four linebackers. Rivers, Cochran, Hicks, and Gant in the secondary. That's the basic set. Third down and five. And Nebraska shows a power eye formation at third down and five as Shepard is in. And the keep is the quarterback, Clayton. 28 yard line. He's going to come up about a yard shy of the first down. Let's see where they're going to spot the ball. They'll mark it at the 28, so it'll be fourth down and one. And that means that Wingard will come into kick. Let's take another look. This is their third down. This is a finesse part of the game. They're coming out right now. Lewis is blocking on Billy Harris. That's Bill Lewis, number 68, one of four All-Americans at center, and that's where they're going to be running all day long in their power game behind Lewis. Wingard kicking to Eric Campbell. Remember a moment ago when he had a 66-yarder. It came back with a penalty. Another good kick. Campbell circles, takes it at the eight-yard line, and has three yards on the return to the 11 a punt of 53 yards Paul Miles was there for Nebraska we've got a timeout and we have no score in the 1986 Fiesta Bowl Sam Nebraska does not like to throw the ball but they may have to today well no question about it they're obviously tried the power game and they tried the finesse game with the option by the quarterback they're going to have to throw the ball on first down and rundowns because Michigan's defense is ready right now to stop that power game <laughs> oh it is a great defense that we'll be watching today Michigan has the ball at their own 16 yard line there was a five yard penalty against Nebraska the return was to the 11. And we have no score. 
as Michigan goes to work for the second time offensively in the ball game. And they open up with a play action fake. Harbaugh throws. The pass is complete to Canis. A big gain to the 36 yard line. 20 yards on the play. <laughs> Brian Siebler, defensive safety for Nebraska, makes the stop at the 36. First down. Seven minutes and 52 seconds left to go. First quarter is another look, Sam. Watch the play action now by Harbo. He's looking for his tight end across. And there's the tight end, Eric Caddis, who has caught 35 passes this year. And now they're in good, good field position. Jamie Morris and Gerald White are the running backs. And here's Morris. 42-yard line. He picks up six. It'll be second down and four. So the Michigan offense comes out. They're cranked up. Steve Force, weak side linebacker, replacing Kevin Parsons, makes the tackle. Jamie Morris, three brothers played at Syracuse. Larry, who plays in Canada. Clint, the sprinter. And Joe, who we mentioned with the New York Giants. And Jamie is only a sophomore. Rush for 874 yards this year, a five yard average. Harbaugh completing only one of four in the early going for 20 yards. Here's the draw. And Jamie Morris, first down, 33 yard line of Nebraska, a gain of 21 yards. Brian Siebler finally stopped him. They're doing it from the eye formation. Looks like a pass. And there's Jamie Morris on a draw play. Gets excellent blocking. Now he works his way back to the outside. Now he's looking for the first down marker. And he gets a good block by 84 Paul Yovich, which gave him the first down. And there's Jamie Morris on the sideline. First down at the 33-yard line. Bob Perryman comes in to spell him. And this is Colazar in motion, number 40. And the give is to Gerald White, who moves to tailback. And he goes to the 28-yard line. He'll pick up five before Kevin Parsons brings him down. Second down and five. Michigan starting this drive back at their own 16-yard line. So Bob Perryman is the fullback and Gerald White the tailback. Harbaugh the quarterback. And here's White. White to the 26. He has a couple. It'll be third down and three as the middle guard for the Nebraska Cornhuskers, Danny Noonan from Lincoln, Nebraska, made the stop at the 26. And Charlie, John Colasar is out there one on one with Dennis Watkins, and he has the wide open out pattern. If he were to throw to the wide field, to John Colasar, he'd have a first down and possibly a touchdown. Colasar goes wide to the far side. Eric Caddis, the tight end, is on the same side. And Jokish splits away to the near side. Third down three. And the give is to Perryman. Perryman on the quick opener to the 25 yard line. The defense was there and he will be shy of the first down. Tackle Scott, number Tucker, 89, Scott Tucker, number 89, was there, and that means that on fourth down, Pat Moons will come in with a field three. goal attempt. He has hit two out of three, and that was in the Ohio State game from 34 yards and 38 yards out. This will be an attempt of 42 yards. Moons, a senior, with his first action in the last game of the season against Ohio State, and he hits here. Pat Moons opens the score with a 42-yard field goal. Michigan out in front, 3 0 Pat Moons just opened the scoring for the Michigan Wolverines. 42 yards on the field goal. And kicking off will be Rit Sutkowitz. The sophomore from Troy, Michigan, and the deep backs are Keith Jones and Paul Miles. Jones, number six. In zone, Jones and Paul Miles, number 21. And Miles will take it at the six yard line. And he almost breaks it to the 26, 20 yards on the return. Just a step away. Tackle by number. Nebraska trailing 3 0. First down at their own 26 yard line. Doug Mallory defensively bringing down Tom Rathman, the fullback, at the 32 yard line. A gain of six, so it's second down and four. Rathman at six feet, even 220 pounds, a senior from Grand Island, Nebraska, 
all big eight. But if they had fullbacks for all Americans, Osborne Fields, Coach Tom Osborne Fields, he would be an all America fullback because he does the things that a fullback should do. Seven big runs, one 84 yard run for a touchdown. Here's DeBose. DeBose to the 35. Little stutter step to the 40. A stiff arm goes out of bounds at the 43 yard line. He picks up 11 and the first down. Tony Gant chases him out. What's and happening now, Nebraska was going inside and Michigan was doing a good job. Now they pitch outside and there's the Bows on the sideline and number 14, Tony Gant, makes the tackle. What they're doing right now is trying to change their attack and get the ball outside. They want to go into power game, but they've got to loosen up. Here they go into an unbalanced line again. Ball carrier is Tom Rathman. And he goes to the Michigan 47, so that's a gain of four. And it's going to be second down and about one is Jim Scarcelli. And Doug Mallory, who is in as a strong safety placing Ivan Hicks, are there to make the stop. Second down and one. Snitzler comes back in, as does Roger Lindstrom on a second and one. Even though Nebraska runs the ball 80% of the time, second down and one. Is this where you gamble and throw the ball? This would be a good opportunity for them to get involved in the deceptive. They're going unbalanced line. Play a little play action. Throws. He completes a pass to Todd Frey. First down for Nebraska. 16 yards. Garland Rivers and Tony Gant make the tackle. And it's something, as we said earlier, they have to do to open up the defense. Now watch the play action pass. McCarthy fakes the ball, comes back on a bootleg. He's got plenty of room. He's looking for his tight end. His tight end's wide open. And the reason he's wide open is because there are too many people on the Michigan defense committed to the line of scrimmage to stop the run. And Nebraska's going to have to do this more often. The play goes to the Michigan 37 yard line first down Mike Reinhold checks into the defense here's Bond Shepard Shepard to the 29 yard line he picks up eight it'll be second down and two and Garland Rivers brings him down Von Shepard is the big play wing back. They were lined up in a power eye formation. Now watch it come back to the right gets a handoff gets two good blocks bounces to the outside and they're going to have a uh, second down and two yards. Second and two at the Michigan 29. Nebraska started this drive back at their 26 yard line. And here's DeBose. He'll have three. And should pick up the first down. It was second down and two. Doug Mallory was there. Interesting though as strong a defensive team as Michigan is. And they are one of the best ones. They built their defensive reputation in the Big Ten where everybody was throwing the ball this year. And Nebraska known for running the ball, but to be successful, they're going to have to throw the ball. It's almost a dichotomy. Right, but they're going to have to throw the ball off the run fakes. And here's the quarterback, McCather Clayton. Garland Rivers stops him at the 18-yard line. And it'll be second down and two as he picks up eight. Mike Mallory was also there. Nebraska's offense now has control of the game. They're doing all three things. Power the ball, get involved in the option game, and get involved in something they do very well, the play-action pass game. Second down and two. Here's DuBose with a little pitch. Slips the tackle, turns it on. Down the sidelines, out of bounds. Tony Gant saved the touchdown at the five-yard line. A gain of 13, first down, goal to go, Cornhuskers. And with that play, the first quarter comes to an end. Time has run out in the first quarter with Nebraska at the five-yard line of Michigan. Let's go back to the last play of the first quarter. This is what... Michigan's defensive coach is worried about is people missing tackles and right there Garland Rivers missed, again, missed the bows and now Tony Gant knocks him out of bounds. And the we talked about the Michigan defense they allowed only five touchdowns this past season two rushing and three passing. And you could rest assured right now Nebraska is going to go to the power game and there's Gary Mola the defensive coordinator on the sideline. I talked to him yesterday about the Nebraska offense and he worried about people missing tackles. 
and his son Andy number 49 there he is inside linebacker five yard line first down goal to go. Rathman is nailed. Fullback may lose a yard. And it was Mark Mester waiting for him. Number 60. Woo. They were involved in the power game. They brought number 54, Andre McIntyre. Now watch him blitz right in the hole. Whoops. Right there. He hits and sticks Tom Rathman right in the hole. And they were lucky they didn't have a fumble on that exchange. Rathman comes out. Kalen replaces him. Second down goal to go at the set. They're going to throw. Has a man wide open. Pass is complete. Touchdown to the ball. And Nebraska takes the lead. Dale Klein will attempt the point after. And who would have thought they would have done it through the air. And that's exactly why it was a touchdown because Michigan was geared to stop the power run. And there's the extra point. Now it's seven to three. Dale Klein splits the uprights. We've got 14 22 left to go in the first half. Nebraska leads by four seven to three. For Doug DuBose that is his first touchdown receiving in his collegiate career and they're going to have to do that and I've said over and over in order to get back to their power game and that play took 10 drive 10 that drive took 10 plays and they were able to diversify it by getting the ball to DuBose and passing the ball and Bose last season only had five receptions for 65 yards. I'm a bit surprised that Nebraska's first score comes through the air. Because they are a rushing team, 79% of their yardage rushing during the season. Jamie Morris and John Colazar set for the return. And it is Morris at the four yard line to the 15, 20. And returns to the 24. So he'll have 20 yards on the return. First down, Wolverines at their own 45 yard line. Colazar wide to the far side. And here's Jamie Morris. And Morris will pick up just a yard to the 46, second down and nine. Also joining our telecast on the sideline, basking in the sun, is Gary Gerald. Gary? On the Nebraska sideline, Charlie, two quick notes. On the first series for the Cornhuskers, the big fullback, Rathman, had an equipment problem. He was not on the backfield, wasn't blocking. He was there for that touchdown drive. Also, Doug DeBose, we've checked with the trainer, that shoulder problem they were concerned about that he bruised a couple of days before this ball game is reacting just fine. No problems at all. Nebraska, of course, in the lead. Thank you Gary work on your tan because it's a gorgeous day here at the Fiesta Bowl. Second down and nine. Here's the pitch. Jamie Moore. They'll mark the ball at the 46 yard line. Brian Davis finally wrestled Jamie Morris down. Morris 5'7", 175 pounds. He said, not only can I hide behind the offensive lineman, in one ball game I hid behind one of the officials. The defender came and tackled the official. Now here's Jamie Morris with a good lead block by 22. Gerald White finds the opening, bounces to the outside, causes a miss right here. Now watch him stay on balance. And now they come up with a very key third down and less than a yard to go. Paul Schmerge comes in as a second tight end third down and one. The give is to the first back and it's Gerald White. The defense meets him right at the line of scrimmage. He needed a yard. He may have gotten him. Danny Noonan leading the charge for Nebraska. He may not have made it. It's going to be tight and it will be a key call <laughs> for uh, Bo Schembecker. I don't believe they have it Charlie it looks like it's going to be less than the football and uh, Bo Beckler is going to go for it and I think it's a good call. Michigan in their 11th straight bowl appearance that's the good news the bad news is is his bowl record Bo Beckler's record two and eight out of the last 11. Gerald White and Bob Perryman are the two running backs. Short yardage fourth down maybe a foot. Harbaugh the quarterback sneaks it. Nebraska says we held it. Let's see where they mark it. The Nebraska offense is coming out on the field. That's confidence. 
ball carrier, but Jim. Jim Scow and Danny Noonan were there at the bottom of the stack for Nebraska. And there's Bo Schembeck, look, waiting to an for an official to official spot the ball for a and a key call at this stage of the game. And the, they're going to bring the chains out on this one. I don't think they got it. Tough call for Bo. It's great if you make it. They didn't. But they didn't make it. Nebraska holds maybe four inches shy as Michigan gambles on fourth down and a foot. And Danny Noonan is injured on the play. See, watch the quarterback right now as he reaches out. And you can see right now he, he's throwing the ball to number uh, 72, the Michigan uh, offensive lineman, John Elliott. Nebraska now from their own 37-yard line. Here's the pitch to the ball. To the 40s, that's a tackle. To the 50, down the sideline, bumped out of bounds. Doug Dubose. And it was Tony Gann who finally got him a gain of 14 yards. That's a pitch. Mike Hammerstein, it's a pitch off the option. Mike Hammerstein is not going to make that play. There should have been somebody up from the outside to contain the play. And here's the ball is knocked out of bounds by Tony Gant, number 14. But their game is changing. They've left the power game, and now they're going to the option game and pitching the ball to the outside. Von Shepard is in, and he'll run from the power eye. The line of scrimmage was the 50 is where they marked him out of bounds. And Shepard is stopped at the 50, so it'll be second down. Down and 10 as Andy Moeller was there. Moeller, the leading tackler for the Michigan Wolverines. It's Nebraska 7, Michigan 3 with 7 16 left to go in the first half. This is the 15th Fiesta Bowl. Happy New Year, everybody, from NBC Sports. The Fiesta, the Rose, and the Orange all today. Clayton. Inside the 45 to the 44. He's got six. It'll be third down and four. Again, it was Mester joined with Jeff Akers. Tackled by number 60, Mark Mester, and number 33, Jeff Akers. Balls on the 44. Bo Jackson, five carries and 16 yards in the first quarter. It's Texas A&M 12 and Auburn seven in the Cotton Bowl. And here, Nebraska 7, Michigan 3, third down and 4, Nebraska, at the Michigan 44. Clayton to throw. Clayton to run. First down. 33-yard line. He picks up 11 yards on the scramble. Jim Scarcelli was there along with Garland Rivers for Michigan. And number 13, Jeremy it's a sprint out pass by Clayton. He's going First to his left, Nebraska. can't find a receiver, and this is what a good athlete does at quarterback. The college game is different than the Pick NFL because the defense has to defend 11 players on offense because of the ability of the quarterback to run the football. Clayton, 30 yards and six carries. Here's the option. He keeps it. He goes to the 26-yard line. He picks up seven, second down and three, and that top rank rushing offense of the Cornhuskers just shifting gears. Mike Mallory, one of the captains for the Wolverines, makes the tackle. He was a second-team All-America, and his dad, by the way, is the head coach at Indiana. Unbelievable that Nebraska could rush for 374.3 yards a game, and now they're back into pitching the ball to the outside, to the Bows and going with the option with the quarterback Clayton. Mike Mallory with that last play. His brother Doug is also in the game defensively. And here's Rathman. Tom Rathman, the all Big 8 fullback. And it is Doug Mallory with the stop along with Tony Gann. Tackled by number 14, Tony Gann. Watch Tom Rathman now. He's going on a counter. He Ball breaks two tackles. He's had line. eight big runs this year for touchdown, and he actually line. trips First because he could have taken that one right for, for touchdown. Now watch 66, Mike Hammerstein. He's not ready to make the tackle, and he goes right by him unblocked. And a gain of 15 yards on the play. Nebraska scoring one touchdown in the game, threatening again at his first and 10 at the 11-yard line. We mentioned that because Michigan last season gave up only five touchdowns. And here is Von Shepard on the reverse. And Andy Muller is there to make the tackle at the nine. A gain of a couple. Second down and eight. Mike Mallory also there. Nebraska is really involved in a deceptive game. They're running reverses, they're running pitches, they're running options, and after the first two series that they had the ball, they've completely abandoned almost their power game of running the ball up inside. Nine-yard line, here's the power eye. And 
to give is to the first back Rathman. Tom Rathman at six feet even, a 220 pound senior. He averaged seven and a half yards a carry this last year. He picks up six here. Tom Rathman is going to be given the ball in the eye formation. Everybody's looking for everyone to go deep. And there he goes again. He breaks a tackle. He could have been tackled in the backfield. Again, Gary Moeller, the coordinator of Michigan, was worried about this with those two big backs breaking Michigan tacklers. Garland Rivers makes the last stop. Here's Dubois. Reaches for the end zone. Does he make it? The ball has to break the plane. And it does. DuBose has now scored receiving and rushing. And Nebraska leads 13 to 3 with the extra point to come. the point after it's an upset in the making Nebraska 14 Michigan 3 halftime at the Fiesta Bowl in the sunshine let's take a look at the official statistics in the first half first downs are even rushing to the Nebraska side which you figured passing to the Michigan side but the margin 64 yards to 20 yards total yards 146 to 126 passing Nebraska perfect two of two not a lot but very efficient one for a touchdown for Michigan what you were talking about five of 12 no turnovers time of possession fairly even what's deceiving is the passing yardage on the part of Michigan it has to be a great deal more in the second half we see Tom Osborne right now who's got a 14 to 3 lead I believe Michigan in the second half, Charlie is going to have to get the quarterback settled down and get the ball upfield to their outside receivers in a tight end. One score, they're right back in this football game. Rick Sutkowitz of Michigan will be kicking off, and the two deep backs for Nebraska on the return are number six, Keith Jones, and number 21, Paul Miles. Now, normally, Doug DuBose is back with Jones, but he has that shoulder injury. They don't want to take a chance on the kickoff return. And this is the speedster, Keith Jones, from a yard deep in the end zone. Has some daylight and returns to the 24 yard line. So he has 25 yards on the return. We talk about his speed electronically timed in the 40 at 4.33. And that means he goes, Phew! and they say, Ooh, is he that fast? He can fly. And that's why they call him End Zone Jones. End Zone Jones. Steve Thiebert made the tackle of the bowl records for Nebraska 13 and 10 for Michigan, 6 and 10. And Nebraska goes to work here at the 24 yard line and the give is to Tom Rathman and Rathman is stopped by Mark Messner Messner's brother Max played uh, professional ball for Detroit in Pittsburgh and I'm wondering you know the Michigan defense got uh, together on the sideline Gary Gerald told us pass that information on to us that we gave you right at the end of the first half and I'm sure that they got together again at halftime and you expect to see the real Michigan defense in the second half. They got together at halftime with the chairman of the board, Coach Schembechler. Second down and nine, gain of a yard. Lots of time to throw. Has a man up, knocked away. DuBose was wide open, but the defensive play by Mike Mallory. Could have saved a touchdown. Oh, yes. Clayton is looking. To his right, he can't find the receiver. He refocuses now. He finds the receiver. Now watch Mallory knock the ball down. The boss was wide open, and had Mallory put up two hands, he could have caught that pass as opposed to knocking it down. Third down and nine. So you look for Clayton to throw here. Lindstrom in motion, and it's a draw. And the boss a fumble. Michigan has it at the 20-yard line. First turnover of the ball game. It's Michigan's ball. Jeff Akers was the man at the bottom of the stack scrambling for it. And that's it. First turnover of the ball game. 
It's a draw play, and they allow too much penetration. There's the penetration right there. DeBose gets spun around. He loses the ball. Watch 33 Jeff Akers make the key recovery. Now here it is. It's a draw play. Watch him give the ball to DeBose. Again, good penetration. Now that ball is knocked out by number 42, Mike Mallory, and Jeff Akers picks up the fumble recovery. Michigan's ball inside Nebraska's 25-yard line. And they go with two tight ends, Schmerge and Cattis, at the 21 first down. And Harbaugh Rose wants to throw. And it is incomplete as he overthrows Gerald White. He was just throwing the ball away. Maybe White could get to it, maybe not, but he wanted to make sure that he was not trapped and he got rid of it. It'll be second down and 10 at the Nebraska 21 yard line. So Arbaugh now 5 of 13 for 64 yards. It's important right now, Charlie, even if they kick a field goal. They can score a touchdown and a two-point conversion. They can be right back in the ball game with a tie. It's important right now that they get points on the board after this fumble recovery. And they go with one tight end as Schmerke comes out and, and uh, Kolazar comes in as a wide receiver. The game is to Morris. 10, 5, 3, 2 to the yard line. 19 yards. Kevin Parsons stopped it. First down goal to go Michigan. Jamie Morris, you know, we talked about possible Heisman Trophy candidate. Now watch the block by Gerald White, number 22, which springs him. John Vitale, 67, turns to the inside. Now watch him go for that goal line and get that extra yardage, and they're inside the five with first and goal. 88 yards rushing for Morris. 13 carries, first down, goal to go, and it is wide. Touchdown, Michigan. White, who had 10 touchdowns during the regular season, scores his first in the Fiesta Bowl. And it is now Nebraska 14, Michigan 9, and Pat Moons, a senior, will attempt the extra point. And it is good. And Michigan pulls within four. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. So Rick Sutkowitz, the sophomore from Troy, Michigan, will kicking be kicking will off be number seven. Number seven Rick. with Keith Jones and Paul Miles Sutkowitz. set for the return for Nebraska. Miles on the near side, Jones on the far side. And here's Miles at the four-yard line to the 10, 15, has an opening, 25, 30. Good return to the 33-yard line with Paul Smurgy. Makes the stop. Nebraska 14, Michigan 10. Nebraska with the ball. First down at their own 33-yard line. 12.50 left to go third quarter. Another fumble. Recovered by the Cornhuskers. Von Shepard fell on the fumble. The miscue between the quarterback Clayton and the handoff to Shepard. Von Shepard is their big play wing back. He runs a lot of reverses. There he is right now, a little disgusted, because had he gotten that football, now watch. Watch the handoff, and there's the exchange right there between the tailback, DeBose, and Shepard, and they're fortunate right now that he was uh, had enough presence to fall on that fumble. And now the momentum is shifting towards Michigan. Second and 15, Hicks is back in the secondary for Michigan. Another fumble, and Michigan has it. Moeller and Mesner were going for it, and Mark Mesner has it. So two turnovers, and Michigan has the ball. And it proves the Michigan defense, you can score more on defense than you can on offense. The Michigan defense right now has caused two big turnovers in the second half, has turned this game around. Now, Clayton is coming out on the option. He doesn't protect the ball. It gets knocked out, and there is 49 and 60, and 17, Ivan Hicks caused that fumble. Last three Nebraska offensive plays, two turnovers. The ball at the Nebraska 38 yard line. First down for Michigan. Michigan trails 14 10, and here come the Wolverines. Reverse. And it is Paul Jokic 
striding out at 6'8", and he throws down the sideline. It is incomplete. Giant strides by Jokic. He's got, he has very good speed, 4'6 speed. Now, Charlie, Mo Schembechler went to the last page of the playbook to get that one. I think it was... It wasn't in the playbook. It was stuck against the now, wall. Here's the reverse. We got a six foot eight quarterback <laughs> right now. He's being rushed. He's looked for an open receiver. Nobody's open. Now he just gets rid of the ball. <laughs> and now you come back second and ten. And this is Michigan. Can you believe that play? I this like it. Versatility at its best. That's right. Way to go, Bo. This is the new Bo Schembechler. No gain. Second down and ten. And here's Jamie Morris. Slips the tackle. Cuts back. First down. 20-yard line. Colazar with a key block. Davis with the stop. 17 yards. Now, Morris has rushed for 105 yards and 14 carries. I started to say this earlier. He's only a sophomore. Look for him as a Heisman Trophy candidate maybe a year away. Now, watch Morris. Now, he gets a good block by his tight end, Caddis. There's a missed tackle. Now, watch him upfield. Now, watch John Colasar, number 40. If you block upfield, you get touchdowns instead of first downs. Excellent block by the wide receiver. 20-yard line, first down and 10. Colazar in motion. Gerald White. White to the five. Dives. Did they say? Did he make it? No, they're going to mark, I think, just short. He needed 20 to score. They're going to give him 19. They're going to give him 19 and two feet. It'll be first down and goal to go. A foot away. Now watch. Gerald White, number 22, gets a very good blocking. Everything is sealed to the inside. Breaks a tackle right there. Now what he's trying to do is stiff arm and get to the end zone. And the official, watch the official right now. He's fighting to try to get to the end zone. It's a good call because he's out of bounds. Give him the ball again from the eye formation. It's two tight ends. They show motion. And the option, fake of the pitch, Harbaugh dives, did he make it? Yes, the ball just has to break the play. The official said that he made it. Touchdown, Michigan for Jim Harbaugh. Michigan second touchdown in three and a half minutes. Michigan takes the lead. They led early 3-0. And then they've been trailing. And now they're back in front. The extra point by Pat Moons is good. It is Michigan 17. Nebraska 14 will be back for the kickoff. Uh, here's the option play on second down. Fakes to the back. Now he wants to pitch. He decides not to pitch. Now watch him turn up inside. Leap. Get the ball across the plane of the goal line. And it's a touchdown. Two fumbles by Michigan, by Nebraska. 14 points for Michigan. Now they have the lead. Two turnovers, two touchdowns. We're four minutes and 17 seconds into the second half. At halftime, just... 417 ago, it was Nebraska 14, Michigan 3, and now Michigan leads by 3. What did Bo Schembechler say at halftime? Bo Schembechler said, forget what I told the press. I was kidding about my bowl record. I want to win this football game. Don't take them serious. Or you'll go back home by bus and you'll be pushing the bus, too. <laughs> Here we go. Setkowitz kicking off. Let's see if Nebraska now can come back. Paul Miles takes it at the one-yard line. To the 10. Hit at the 15, comes down at the 18-yard line. Here comes Nebraska from the 18-yard line, and here's Doug DuBose. And he will pick up maybe a yard to the 19, so it'll be second down and nine as Mike Mallory makes the tackle. On the kickoff, the tackle was made by Tim Schulte. Here's the scoring by quarters. And look That's at the third quarter. Past season. And look at the third quarter. 79 to their opponents six which is they're on their way for that right now of course they're not going to score 79 I don't think but they have scored 14 there's Clayton to throw it's there on target he goes to Todd Frey the tight end and Nebraska moves out to the 40 yard line a gain of 21 yards on the play and of course the first down Doug Mallory was there for the defense, along with All-America Brad Cochran. Now, Cochran, number 30 for the Michigan Wolverines. 
you don't really call his number or his name that often because he is so good they stay away from him. Right, he's a fine prospect. Gil Brandt has said he's an excellent pro prospect in this year's draft. Nebraska needing now to crank up that offense. First down. A fumble, but the play may have been dead. No, the knee was down is the signal from the referee, Jack Baker. Jeff Akers was there for Michigan. And all of a sudden, Nebraska's got fumbleitis. What's happening right now, they're faking the reverse. Watch them fake the reverse to Shepard, and he's coming out in an option, and there was just too much penetration by 56 Billy Harris, and he fumbled the football, but the ball was called dead. Now they have a second down and long, which is not Nebraska's game offensively. Second and 14, three in the secondary for Michigan, so you got extra linebackers waiting for the run. Here's the pitch. And it'll lose a yard as Jim Scarcelli was there. It was an option. However, there wasn't any option attached. Watch him come right out now and fake. He comes out and he just pitches the ball. Doesn't, well, he's going to option because he had Messner right there and Jim Scarcelli is waiting. They had a man on the faking back. They had a man on the quarterback and they had another defender on the option back. Covered it very well defensively. Third down and 15. Michigan now with four in the secondary. They look for the pass, a little play action. Pass is complete. The ball comes loose. They're going to say no. They're going to rule it incomplete. Tom Banderas, the intended receiver, and he was shaken up. Doug Mallory was there for Michigan. We have seen a different Michigan defense in the second half than we saw in the first half. Now leading, now they're living up to all of their uh, their press credentials, leading the nation scoring defense, giving them only five touchdowns in the regular season. Here's the third punt for Dan Winger and Eric Campbell is set for the return. Has pressure. Is blocked. David Arnold blocked it. And he has it for Michigan at the five yard line of Nebraska. Who's the punter? Dan Wingard was the punter, number 15. David Arnold blocked it, and he and Ed Hood were scrambling for it, and they now, got it at the six. Now watch, watch the receiver from the outside. Now watch him lay out and time it perfectly. Number 15 timed it perfectly, and that's what most punt blockers don't do. They get a little too close to the kicker. Outstanding play by David Arnold. A freshman from Warren, Ohio. Six-yard line, they mark it. First down, goal to go, Michigan. Jamie Marks and Danny Noonan, who had that injury in the first half, back in the ball game. And he is there for the defense. We'll mark it to the five. Second down, goal to go. We're moving on the eight-minute mark. Still left seven minutes into the third quarter. And it's Michigan 70 to 14. They threatened to have seven more. Bob Perryman checks into the offense for the Wolverines. So Perryman will be the fullback and Gerald White will be the tailback. And Smirky comes in as a tight end to join Eric Caddis. Two tight ends on the set. And here's Gerald White. It'll be third down and goal to go as you see Gerald just about a yard away from the end zone. It's an important series because they want to get the touchdown as opposed to having to kick the field goal because that means the grass can come back with one touchdown extra point and they're ahead. Watch for the play action pass now on third down with uh, Jim Harbaugh coming out with the football. Brian Davis making the last stop. Here's White, and he is it. And the defense for Nebraska led by Kevin Parsons. 
It'll be fourth down and goal to go. Now what do you do? Michigan 17, Nebraska 14. Do you go for the touchdown? He lost a yard back to the two, or do you go for the field goal? The decision has been made in Pat Moons with a field goal attempt from the nine, an attempt of 19 yards. He is hit from 42 yards out. Monty Robbins, the kicker, is the holder. So they go for three, and they get it. So even though Michigan moves their total to 20 to 14, it's a boost for the Nebraska defense because they hold from the six. They have to settle for a field goal. We'll be back in a moment. 6.42 left to go in the third. Setkiewicz will be kicking off for Michigan, but guess what? For Nebraska, Doug DeBose is back. That is number six. That's Keith Jones. The other return man is number 22, Doug DeBose. There he is. First time that he has been on the kickoff return team. Normally he's there. Been replaced by Paul Miles because he has a shoulder problem. Setkiewicz kicking off. And Jones. It ricochets, picks it up at the 10. Stutter step finally returns it to about the 15 yard line. It's Michigan 20, Nebraska 14. Thank you, Kerry. And right now, the Cornhuskers need to get something going offensively. McCatherine Clayton, the Nebraska quarterback. Now, the average field position in the third quarter has been, are you ready? The average field position for Nebraska, their own 22, for Michigan has been the Nebraska 21-yard line. That's due to the turnovers, the block punts. Mike Reinho made the last defensive play, and it's second down and 10. Showing the power eye, the give is to Von Shepard. Shepard may be a yard, and that's going to be all. It's going to be third down and nine as Mike Mallory was there to greet him, along with Andy Moeller, the two inside linebackers. I don't know what Bo said to that defense at halftime, but it was effective. Well, he apparently made his point because right now Michigan's defense has solved all the problems that Nebraska was giving him during the course of the first half. And there's Gary Moeller right now, the defensive coordinator, giving the signal. Third down and nine. Clayton, there's a flag as he turns up field. He goes out of bounds. Short of the first down. They're going to mark it about the 23. A flag dropped to the 13. I think we're going to have a clip on uh, Doug DeBose, number 22. It is a clip against Nebraska. Steve Thiebert and Andy Muller were there. I think they'll refuse it. Here's the score in the Cotton Bowl this afternoon. It is Texas a and 15 and Auburn 13 and halftime. And Bo Jackson, 10 carries, 31 yards. One reception for 73 yards, but two touchdowns. Winger will be kicking. Eric Campbell set for the return for Michigan. 5.26, time remaining. In the third quarter, there was a little pressure shown from the punter's left side. Maybe he thought about that block kick. Not that good a kick. Only 30 yards. And that clearly came about because of the block punt on the previous punt. We've got a timeout, and Michigan has the lead. Nebraska offense. That's Tom Osborne in the red shirt talking to his offense right now, and he's got to solve some problems that Michigan's defense. Jamie Morris to the 40. Cuts back 30. 26 yard line. 26 yards on the play. Brian Washington with the tackle. First down. Morris now 16 carries, 133 yards. I think his brother Joe is enjoying this in New York. Yeah, Joe watch Morris right now. Break tackles. Now, all great backs go back against the green. And when you go against the green, that's where the big yardage comes. Another outstanding run. 16 carries, 133 yards. Big, big difference in their offense in the second half. First down. And here's Morris again. And he's pulled down at the 21-yard line. He'll have five. Second down five. Chris Carr makes the tackle. Chris Carr and Ryan Sieber alternate at that defensive safety spot for the Cornhuskers. In Sunday's ball game, Jamie Morris's brother Joe for the Giants rushed for 141 yards. 
And so Jamie is within just a two or three steps of what his brother did. And he comes out as Bob Perryman comes in. And that means that Gerald White will move over to tailback. They're in a pass formation. Little play action. Harbaugh rolls. And goes sliding out of bounds. Chased by Neil Smith. It's important right now not to have a turnover. If they don't make the touchdown, then they can kick a field goal and be up by nine points, and it then takes two scores on the part of Nebraska to go ahead in this game. Third down and six at the 22 yard line and Danny Noonan is back in for Nebraska as their middle guard. This is a situation where all year long he likes to go to number 81 his tight end Eric Gaddis. Tom Osborne who you saw the 17th consecutive bowl game for Nebraska their longest that's the longest streak in the nation and Harbaugh to throw. And he goes into the corner. And a flag is down. Are the intended receiver. Dennis Watkins had the coverage, number 27. Defensive pass interference against Dennis Watkins. It's and that will be a 15 yard penalty right. from the line of scrimmage. Now, watch it. He lets it go. For all the money now, watch Kolasar and Watkins. Kolasar is going up now for the ball, and Watkins clearly uh, jumps in front of him, makes contact, and it's a good call on the part of the official. So Michigan leading 20 to 14, with Jamie Morris now back in the ball game, and Morris jumps to the outside. And goes to the three yard line. 14 yards for Jamie Morris. Chris Carr was there for the defense. And Morris has rushed for 152 yards. Penalty may cost them seven points. Big backs are in the game now. Wiltshire and Gerald White at tailback. White and Perryman are the running backs. Fuller's are in motion. And the Cornhusker oh, defense is there. It'll be second down goal to go, led by Danny Noonan. And tell you, Nebraska's tough inside their five yard line. They've made a lot of big plays inside the five yard line. Again, they're back. Another big defensive series. Michigan's coming in with their receivers, and they're probably going to throw the ball on second and third down. Again, a field goal is a very good uh, play for Michigan. They go up by nine points. They have Jokish now outside on Brad Davis. Second down, goal to go on the option. Harbaugh leads. He's got it. Harbaugh scores his second touchdown. And Michigan goes up 26 to 14 over Nebraska. In the second half, Michigan has four possessions. They have scored three touchdowns and one field goal in their four offensive possessions. And Jim Har Harborough scores his tech second touchdown on the option play. And Bo Schembechler is feeling a lot better about this football game at this point. It's not a chip shot anymore from there. And he's got it. And we'll be back with the kickoff after this word from the NCAA. Now with one minute and 53 seconds left to go in the third quarter. This is Charlie Jones, Sam Ratigliano with Michigan in front now. 27 to 14 over Nebraska. Rick Sutkowitz will kick off to either Doug DeBose or Keith Jones. Right now, Nebraska is in the worst type of position they want to be in. They're down by two scores, and they have to go to the throwing game. They just can't continue to try to run the ball. They have to go to the play action game and a drop back pass. And it's something that they have not done well all year long. Here's DeBose. And he returns to the 18 yard line. Wrap 
Hoffman. And Tom Rathman has the first down as he picks up 12 yards from the 18 to the 30 in the first down. Garland Rivers and Tony Gant make the stop. So maybe Rathman becomes the answer, Sam. You go to your fullback and he can do a little bit of everything. Now watch, they're in a power eye formation. He gives the ball to Rathman. Now watch him cut back. Picks up a key 12 yards, and right now they're going to have to do something else to get back to DuBose, but they have to throw the football to get back in the game. This time it's the fake to the second back through, and the quarterback keeps fumbles. The ball is loose, and Michigan will have it as Ivan Hicks comes up with a recovery. Hicks has not been playing that much in the ball game. But that is the second time that he has caused a fumble or been involved with a recovery. So even though Hicks, I think he's been at Bo's doghouse. They, I don't know that for sure, but he hadn't played that much. But he's made a couple of big plays for the Wolverines. And there's the hit again, and Mike Mallory, 42, is involved. Now there's a big scramble, and Hicks now comes up with his second fumble recovery. A surprise change at the beginning of the game. He played only one play, Ivan Hicks, and Doug Mallory came in the game. But he has shown his presence by recovering two fumbles. Michigan at their own 49-yard line, first down, leading 27 to 14. And Harbaugh comes out throwing as pressure steps away. It is tipped. It is caught by Jamie Morris, and Morris will end up losing a yard. Kevin Parsons was there for Nebraska, and it'll be second down and 11. We have a play-action pass now. Watch Jim Harbaugh avoid the rush, and now Jamie Morris comes up with the interception. I'm surely that's not in the playbook to be done that way, <laughs> but now we're in a second down and 11. So the reception for Jamie Morris, second down and 11 at the 48-yard line. And here's Morris. To the Nebraska 47-yard line, Mike Knox was there for the Cornhuskers. So a gain of five. It's going to be third down and about six. Michigan's last four possessions, touchdown, touchdown, field goal, touchdown. And all as a result of mistakes and miscues on the part of Nebraska. Possibly caused by the Michigan defense and their special teams. Always the other side, Sam. Right. <laughs> There's always a cause and effect. That's right. For every action, there's a reaction. And we're taking the countdown now to the end of the third quarter. So three are in the books, one to go at the Fiesta Bowl, and it's 27-14 Michigan. Steve Taylor, the freshman from Spring Valley, California, quarterback for Nebraska, the other quarterback, because Travis Turner with a knee injury. Travis, by the way, is here on the sideline of crutches. And uh, Steve Taylor is loosening up, and there's... Travis Turner in the dark glass. He was even out during warm-ups holding for snaps and situation being what it is right now, they need a drop back quarterback in the game to get the ball upfield and overcome this deficit. Third down and six. And a flag is flag down as Jamie Morris just works his way back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Kevin Parsons was there and as that through three quarters. Here's a look at the statistics. But let me add one more number that's not there. Michigan had the ball in the third quarter, 11 minutes and one second. And scored 24 points. Yes. That, those are the two keys. Yes, that's right. Monty Robbins is kicking, and Rob Schnitzler set for the return for Nebraska. Not that good a kick. But gets a pretty good roll. Hey, it's going to turn out all right for Michigan. It'll be down at the one yard line. Andy Borowski, the snapper, was down. It'll go in the books as a 46 yard kick. We'll be back in a moment. Financial services meeting today's needs with a range of financial products. Happy New Year, everybody. This is Charlie Jones, Sam Ritigliano, and Gary Gerald at Fiesta Bowl 15, 14 25. Left to go in the game. Michigan out in front, 27 14. As Doug DeVos of the Cornhuskers carries from the three to the five yard line. Gain of two, it will be second down and eight. And Billy Harris, the middle guard for Michigan, along with Mark Messner, was there. Oh, they're going to mark the gain out to the six yard line, so it'll be second down and seven. 
And Doug Mallory is into the defense for Michigan, replacing Ivan Hicks. Hicks is really not that played that much, but when he's been in there, he's made some big plays. Second down. The give is to Tom Rathman. You got the report on Rathman that the bell was ringing. Well, he may have picked up a yard, so it'll be. Let's call it second down. Let's call it third down and six, as Mark Messner was there. And there is Tom Osborne. What a program that he has continued at Nebraska this year. The record nine and two. One of the outstanding coaches in the. And interesting with it, with both of the coaches, he and Bo Schimbeckler. Between them, they have a total of seven bypasses. It's a tough profession coaching. Osborne has a triple, and Jim Becker has a quadruple. Here's the pass to Todd Frame. And that's his third reception, which equals the amount of receptions he's made in every game this year. That's right. During the season of the irregular 11 games, Frayne had three receptions for 59 yards. Mallory and Cochran were there for Michigan. Now watch Clayton on the play action. It's a bootleg. He gets rid of the ball just in time, gets it to Todd Frayne, and now they're out of the soup, and they've got a key first down because that was an important series for Nebraska. Watch Hammerstein, 66. He's right on top of Clayton, but Clayton, again, is a good athlete, and he was able to get the ball off. And a change at quarterback. Taylor is now in at quarterback. Quarterback. He gives to DeBose, and DeBose goes for the 17 to the 30 yard line. Back to back, big play, first downs for Nebraska. That's what they need. Brad Cochran makes the tackle, the All America cornerback. Now, there's Steve Taylor, the young quarterback. What he needs right now is to make Ball sure he thinks about first line, downs, first not big downs. downs. Just get a number of first That's downs right. because if they can get up on the board before. Uh, two or three minutes goes by here right now. They're right back in the game. Steve Taylor, 18 years of age, freshman, Spring Valley, California. Regular season completed only three of six. No touchdowns, one interception. And he rolls out with it. Keeps his feet. 46-yard line of Michigan. 25 yards on the play. Mike Mallory with the tackle. And so the Cornhuskers come alive. There's plenty of time left in the game. What it is is a bootleg, but he definitely decided to run the football. Now he's got good ability, excellent block on number 13, Garland Rivers, and now they're across the 50-yard line. Got another key first down. 46-yard line of Michigan. Here's DeBose. He may have the big play to the 40, to the 30, to the 25-yard line. Tony Gann and Garland Rivers save the touchdown, but 31 yards for Doug DeBose. And he stays down as the traders are there. Now remember, he's playing with that shoulder injury that he suffered on Sunday. Watch now. It's an option and a pitch to DeBose. He breaks back to the inside. He's looking for the big run. Almost makes it. And there's Tony Gant, ninth, number 14, makes the play. And DeBose looks like he, he's holding on to that shoulder, left shoulder that he hurt this week in practice. So the ball at the 25-yard line. DeBose now 17 carries for 100 yards. He's averaged 116 in every game this year. And it's a first down for Nebraska. Keith Jones is now the Ibach. Pressure from behind. And the pass is complete at the 18-yard line. Jim Scarcelli was chasing Steve Taylor, and he could hear him coming. Von Shepard with the reception at the 18-yard line. Gain of seven, second, and three. I'll guarantee you Steve Taylor right now had a sixth sense about what was coming in behind him. Right now he gets rid of the ball. He knows he's going to get hit. Excellent catch on the part of Von Shepard. And they're inside the 20. They've got to get on the board right now. Second down and three at the 18-yard line. Into the end zone. Good defensive coverage, though. Perfect defensive coverage. Garland Rivers has excellent coverage on Rod Smith. Let's go down to Gary Gerald. Uh, Charlie, yes, we got a quick word with the trainer. We understand it is that bruised shoulder that he suffered on Sunday. However, they expect that they will try to get him right back in the ball game. And of course, it's critical. Now they desperately need a touchdown. With three minutes and 51 seconds, that's all the time remaining, Gary. Third down and three at the 18. Ken Kalen gets the call, and Mike Reinhold is there to meet him in the hole. 
a yard if that. So it's going to be fourth down and two. And as they run the ball, they run the clock, and they're playing into Michigan's hands. Right now, that was a very conservative call, and I think the reason for it is that Tom Osborne is trying to take some pressure off that young quarterback, Steve Taylor. Very difficult for a head coach right now for the freshman quarterback in this situation. They look for the run. They go with extra linebackers. The momentum is going to carry to the 13 yard line for Steve Taylor and I think that's going to be enough. Steve Thiebert the junior from Union Lake Michigan was there for the Wolverine De Wolverine defense along with Jim Scarcelli. First down at the 13 yard line we're moving on the three minute mark. Now it's fourth down. He knows he has to get the first down. So run north and south. Don't go from sideline to sideline. I think this young man's going to be a fine quarterback. He's obviously an excellent athlete. At the Michigan 13 yard line fake on the pitch out he comes back. Throws behind incomplete. Todd Frame had a step on Doug Mallory but the pass was behind him. Second and 10 at the 13. It's again another play action. Mike Hammerstein almost makes the play. Now he rears back and he throws behind Todd Frayne. Had he hit Todd Frayne with Doug Mallory in pursuit, he might have brought that football into the end zone. Second and 10, and Doug DeBose comes back into the lineup for Nebraska. Taylor rolls left as blockers in front. Lots of time to throw. Finds an opening. He gets to the one and that's it. Brad Cochran met him maybe a foot shy of the goal line. And there's the clock. 237. Mike Mallory for the and, Michigan defense. And Steve Taylor has a receiver wide open. But again, this looks like a maze to this young quarterback. And what he's going to do instinctively is tuck the ball and run. As he gets an opportunity to play and gains more confidence, he's going to see those open receivers. It's just a reaction by an inexperienced quarterback. He should have thrown it in the end zone to an open receiver. Quarterback sneak. With no sign. There it is. Touchdown, Nebraska. Two twenty nine left to go in the game. Nebraska driving seventy seven yards. Dale Klein will attempt the extra point. Holding will be number twelve. Twenty seven to twenty. And Dale Klein will attempt the extra point. Blakeman with the hold. It is good. And Nebraska pulls within six points of Michigan with 2.29 left. And we'll be back with the onside kick in just a moment. Don't go away. We'll probably have an onside kick. Michigan has nine men close to the 50 yard line. They've got their good hands people in there right now. If they can recover the kick, the game could be over. If Nebraska can recover the kick, they got a chance to win the game. And remember, Michigan went for two points. They made it with a throw in the end zone to Paul Jokic, and it was called back, and they kicked for the extra point. And right now, this score could be 28 21 instead of 27 21. And they decide to kick the ball deep. I am surprised. Jamie Morris at the one. So Nebraska relying on their defense. He's cut down at the 10. And it is Dale Klein, the kicker, who makes the play. And right now, you can see by the way the Nebraska defense has played all game long that Tom Osborne has a tremendous amount of confidence in his defense. And remember, in the third quarter, it was not the Nebraska defense. It was the Nebraska offense that gave up all those points. And now the ball is inside the 10-yard line. And is this a big series for the Michigan offense? Number three for Nebraska on the coverage team was Gary Schneider. So now it must be the defense of Nebraska. Michigan does not have a timeout. Nebraska has two timeouts remaining. Gerald White. Brian 
Ben Davis for the Huskers. A gain of three from the nine to the twelve. Second down and seven. Pick up a few yards on the play. Right now, Michigan needs to hold on to the ball, get Nebraska to use those timeouts, and knock out two first downs, and they have this game won. Nebraska needs one more possession. Second and 15. The ball back at the three-yard line. Now it's going to be back at the two-yard line. But the clock ticks. 138, 137, 136. They stop it there. And Nebraska just lost 8 to 10 valuable seconds. Tony Holloway making the last play with the Huskers. And Nebraska will now have one timeout remaining. Michigan does not have any timeouts remaining. Right now, Charlie, on third down, they can get Nebraska to take that final timeout. And then on fourth down, have the quarterback take a safety. That means there'll be four points up. Nebraska still has to kick, score a touchdown to win. And I think that would be good strategy on the part of Schembechler right now. And I'm sure that's what he talked over with his quarterback. And it seems as the fiesta ball always comes down to the wire. What I would do right now, I wouldn't take any chance. I would run a quarterback sneak and then come back with the safety. Because right now, a fumble means they lose the game. There is absolutely no reason to take that chance. So you want the quarterback sneak, then force Nebraska to take their last time out, then take the safety, and, and then punt from the 20. And and punt from the 20, and Nebraska now has a freshman quarterback in with no timeouts. And they don't have a passing game. Okay, let's see what happens. A possibility as the, the finale un, unrolls. And there's the quarterback sneak. There's part one of the Reticliano story. I think you may be right, Sam. And now Nebraska takes a timeout. That's part two. So Nebraska's out of timeouts. A minute 29. That is the time remaining. Bo Schembechler just had the entire uh, team on the sideline. And I'm sure right now that the punter is going to feel the ball, wait for the rush, and step out of the end line and then come back because one of the things he wants to do is run some time off the clock. Let's see what he does. You're exactly right. That's what he's going to do, but they got to chase him. He'll stay back there. He's running time off. Then he steps away, and he ran it down to 122. Good call, Sam. Two points to Nebraska, and it's 27 to 23, and he ran off 17 seconds. Rob Schnitzler and Von Shepard are the two return men for Tom Osborne, the head coach of the Cornhuskers. Boy, what a record. He's only been a head coach at Nebraska, and what a great job that he has done there. He was handpicked by Bob Devaney and has done an outstanding job. And there's Gary Moeller right now. He is really upset. He's trying to tell him what to do. What he's trying to do right now is to tell the punter to put the ball in either corner. Do not kick the ball straight down the field. And he kicks it straight down the field. Monty Robbins, a kicker, but it's a good one. Shepard takes it back at the 16-yard line. He needs a big return. He may have it. It's to the 40, and he goes out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Stopping the clock with 114. Greg Randall was there, a 64-yard punt, but a good return for Shepard at 29 yards. And he had presence of mind to get out of bounds because Nebraska does not have any timeouts left. And right now they have to go to a no-huddle offense. They've got to throw to get the ball off field and make sure that their receivers get out of bounds to stop that clock. The biggest thing right now for Nebraska is to get the ball up field and stop the clock. 1.14 left to go. Taylor. He's got to get to the sideline to stop the clock. They say no. He went down and then slid out. So the clock is moving. At the 49-yard line of Michigan, Doug Mallory took him out. And that's 56 what seconds of counting. Costly play. And that's what an inexperienced quarterback will do. He should have come back in a play-action pass. If he didn't have anybody open, just throw the ball and stop the clock. Complete at the 45-yard line. Shepard, the intended receiver. Mike Mallory was there for the defense. Stopping the clock, 39 seconds. It was Doug Mallory who was there. 
So it's going to be third down and five at the 49. They got to take a shot and throw the ball deep and hope for a big play or the possibility of a pass interference because this young quarterback right now, that defense looks like Times Square on New Year's Eve. And of course, in college ball, the pass interference is only going to be 15 yards. But they'll have an opportunity to move the ball upfield and stop the clock. The inability of Taylor to get out of bounds to play before the last cost Nebraska 27 seconds. There's a delayed play action. He's got to throw it. Unleash it. Goes he. Boy, what an arm. He overthrows it. Intercepted in the end zone. Garland Rivers has the interception. turnover of the ball game 28 seconds left to go and all that Michigan needs to do is run out the clock and the safety man is Paul Jokic behind him. and Jokic puts the bear hug on him he's 6'8 240 pound senior and now they can take the full countdown it's been a good one Michigan had to come from behind they trail at halftime 14 to 3 and Michigan is going to win it 27 to 23 and credit the Michigan defense in the third quarter and Bo Schembechler has improved his bowl record there it is the final countdown once again it has been a great fiesta ball for Sam Ritigliano and Gary Gerald I'm Charlie Jones the final Michigan 27 Nebraska 23 now let's go to the Rose Bowl Dick Enberg and Merlin Olson.